And as summer winds down, thoughts of back to school take priority, especially if you're a parent. And here's something to think about. According to an international student assessment known as PISA, which monitors student performance in the fields of science and math, the U.S. scored 25th out of 30. Our next guests not only ponder that sad thought, but have taken it upon themselves to change that trend. We welcome the CEO as well as Chief Technical Officer from Mind Research Institute, Ted Smith, as well as Matthew Peterson. Thank you both for joining us. Glad to Thank have you. you both on. Uh, Ted, talk a little bit about um, what Mind Research is for folks who may not know. Well, uh, Matthew and his team have developed a really impressive array of computer games that illustrate math principles. And uh, he'll tell you in a minute about the new system, but mm -hmm. basically the kids in public schools use these and we're excited because the program has grown to 270,000 students uh, as of this September. And uh, it's going to be in close to 1,000 schools in 22 states. So you, um, you put the program <coughs> into schools, or you have you know, people who, who put the program into schools. They implement the math program, and you're seeing scores change. Uh, absolutely. The, the key to the whole thing is the instructional software that Matthew creates right. and the interaction of the student with this instructional software. And it, it uh, presents multiple levels of difficulty. Uh, the students really learn the math principle and they're fully engaged because they really enjoy doing it. And we're gonna get to the statistic that I gave, U.S. scoring 25th out of 30 as far as uh, our math and our science scores are concerned. Matthew, talk a little bit about the program that Ted has been talking about. I get the feeling that you sort of get these ideas and then you just go develop something and, and the kids have been uh, just reacting to it incredibly. Like, like he was saying, the math scores are, are changing. Yeah, it's really exciting to see the math scores increase and um, with the generous support of all of our donors, we just released the new generation of our software. And it's not just we just come up with ideas. A lot of research that goes behind it, neuroscience right. research, education research. And this new generation takes it to a whole new level, not just in how we interact with how the students are engaged and how deep of understanding that they're able to get, but also the tools that we give the teachers to be able to bring these inter interactive animations of the math concepts into the classroom and really deepen their understanding of the math. What is the ST Math Fluency? The ST Math Fluency um, uses a visual approach to teach basic math facts so that students can get the math down instantly and to an automatic level. Okay, so and when you implement these programs into the schools, are they schools that are underachieving or how, where, are they, where are they located as far as percentage is concerned? The whole gamut. Okay. Um, we have student. We, we bring up scores from the low achieving end, and also um, some schools that are the upper end, the highest achieving in the state, have adopted our program and have gotten even to a higher level. Why is the United States having so many problems with math, and the fact our scores are so low compared to a, a number of countries? Ted, do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> That's well, you know, it's very difficult to answer the question, but uh, what we know is that this new neuroscience-based approach can really attack the problem, and we're doing it in major cities across the country. What does neuroscience-based approach mean? That's his view. Okay, we'll let you talk about it, Matthew. Um, well, it just means that we take our understanding of how the brain works um, and try to apply it to build programs that are easier for students to be engaged with, um, easier to or make it better to um, explain the concepts in a way that they can understand. And people need to know that the Mind Research Institute is a wholly nonprofit organization. Correct. And um, if folks want to get more information, they can get on the internet and have a representative from your company actually come out. Is well, that right? Well, even more fun, they could come to our annual awards dinner on October 8th here in Orange County. Uh, and one of the very exciting aspects of this is we're going to have an astronaut at that dinner as a keynote speaker. Who would that astronaut be? Dr. Sally Ride. Mm -hmm who was the first American woman in space. She's amazing. She is amazing. Folks can get more information about that event on your website as well, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and so by coming to this event, they're supporting the Mind Research Institute. Right. Very it's good. It's a fundraiser, of course. Of course it is, <laughs> absolutely. And they can learn more about the Mind Research and all that comes along with it. Thank you both for joining, it, joining us. Um, I'm so tickled to go hear Sally Wright speak. It's gonna be great. Thank you very much. Thank Glad you. to have you on.